In this video, I'll be going over the top 10 hardest to get platinum medals in Pokemon Go and how you can get them. Getting achievements in Pokemon Go can be quite easy or extremely difficult. These achievements are highlighted by medals, and each medal has various milestones. The hardest milestone is platinum. Even for the easiest tasks, getting the platinum rank medal may still require an insane amount of gameplay and luck in order to be obtained. A small handful are next to impossible, and those are what I'm going to be talking about today. Now if you end up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here, and don't forget that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. Right, so with that said, let's get right into the list. Number 10, Friend Finder. Getting this platinum medal can be considered next to impossible, even though it is really simple. In order to get it, you will need to get 50 people to install Pokemon Go on their phones and use your invite code. Seems simple enough, right? Well, the problem here is that most people who would want to play Pokemon Go are probably already playing Pokemon Go at this point. That means finding 50 people to use your invite code is a tall order. Getting this achievement would have been more reasonable earlier on when the game first launched, but in current times, it will likely be not possible unless you make 50 alt accounts with 50 different emails. I don't suggest going that route as it would be breaking Pokemon Go's terms of service, which could run you the risk of getting banned. The best way you could get this achievement would be to convince people you know to install Pokemon Go, use your invite code, then they can choose to uninstall right after. Do this enough times, and you will eventually get this platinum medal. Number 9, Wayfarer. To be honest, I was kinda hesitant to put this medal on this list. The reason being, the Wayfarer medal is technically not that difficult. All you have to do is be active on Niantic Wayfarer, and you will eventually get it. The caveat here, however, is that Niantic Wayfarer is kinda broken at the moment. Thus, I consider it extremely difficult getting this medal to platinum. This is also one of those medals that has plenty of prior requirements. In order to engage in Niantic Wayfarer, you will need to be at least trainer level 38, and you do need to take a test in order to start evaluating points of interest. Also, if you want the most agreements, you will need to do a lot of research as well. You simply cannot just accept every entry you rate. Speaking of which, the rating system is notoriously difficult to understand. You might rate a certain point of interest really high, while everyone else would deem it ineligible. There really is no clear-cut rulebook for what is considered an eligible point of interest, even though Niantic laid it out on their website. You really have to gauge what is allowed and what is not allowed within your community, in order to get the most agreements. Also, if your profile rating goes down, it could take you several weeks, if not months, to get your rating high enough again where your evaluations of points of interests would count towards the medal. Getting the 1500 agreements that you need for Platinum will require a huge amount of Wayfarer activity, which you may not have the time for. One tip that I suggest is that you set up your home location in Niantic Wayfarer to a place that has a low density of Pokestops and Gyms, and rate most of the entries in that area really high. Most players who play in those areas will be more lenient with their evaluations, because they want more points of interest to populate their town. Thus, you will end up with more agreements this way. Another tip is, of course, to make a habit of visiting Niantic Wayfarer as often as you can, and rating points of interests as much as you can. I know this is a pretty obvious tip, but it is crucial. Eventually, you will get the Platinum Medal through active engagement alone. Number 8. Cameraman. This is one of those achievements that is really difficult to complete simply because you might forget it exists. It requires you to do a specific action every day, but unless you are grinding out the buddy adventure system, it is an action you will more often than not end up ignoring. What exactly is this action? Well, you will need to take AR photos of your buddy Pokemon as many times as you can every day in order to trigger a photobomb. By the way, you will only get one photobomb per day unless there is a specific event that can trigger multiple photobombs. Getting the Platinum Medal of Cameraman requires you to get 400 photobombs. If you get a photobomb once per day, then it will take you 400 days worth of photobombs to get Platinum. You can actually expedite this, however, if you utilize all of the surprise photobomb bonuses during community days and special events like Pokemon Go Fest. This is probably your best way to get the Platinum Medal. Number 7. Purifier 
This one is probably the most expensive platinum metal in terms of Stardust. In order to get it, you will need to purify 1000 Shadow Pokemon, and there really isn't any shortcut. Since purifying Shadow Pokemon is typically ill-advised, and the fact that doing this many Team Go Rocket battles is extremely time-consuming to begin with, getting this Platinum Metal could prove to be incredibly difficult. Now, probably the best way to get this Platinum Metal without breaking the bank with your Stardust is to purify very specific Shadow Pokemon that have a low Purify cost. Pokemon like Magikarp, Rattata, Starly, and Weedle only have a 1000 Stardust cost for purification. Since you get 500 Stardust for completing the Team Go Rocket battle, and since you get a minimum of 100 from catching the Pokemon, each purification will only cost you 400 Stardust. This is the most cost efficient method for getting the Platinum Purifier Medal. Number 6, Ultra Hero. The inclusion of this Platinum Medal may be a bit of a stretch. In order to get it, you need to defeat the leader of Team Go Rocket, Giovanni, 50 times. Now this Platinum Medal is currently impossible to get, simply because Niantic has not released 50 Giovanni battles up until now. But even if it were possible to get this medal, you have to jump through several hoops just to battle him once. It typically requires the completion of a long and difficult special research in order to face Giovanni. Doing it 50 times would take a lifetime. Number 5, Youngster. This is one of two infamous catch medals on this list, and it is very deserving to be on it. The Platinum Youngster medal requires you to catch 1,000 Tiny Rattata. What constitutes a Tiny Rattata? Well, it is one that weighs under 2.41 kilograms. The problem here is twofold. Finding a Rattata that weighs under 2.41 kilograms is pretty rare. The other problem is that Rattata are pretty rare nowadays given that event spawns typically do not include them. The best way to get this medal is to simply catch as many Rattata as you can. You should also be on the lookout for Team Go Rocket Grunts with normal or dark type Pokemon. Either of them may have a Rattata or Alolan Rattata as the reward. You should also plan around any spotlight hours or in-game events that will feature increased spawns of Rattata. That will be a great way for you to boost up your tiny Rattata count. Number 4, Fisher. This is the second infamous catch medal that I wanted to talk about. The Platinum Fisher medal requires you to catch 1000 Big Magikarp. A Big Magikarp is one that weighs more than 13.13 kilograms. Now, unless you live near a large body of water, completing this Platinum Medal is going to be next to impossible. Big Magikarp are actually much rarer than a tiny Rattata, and Magikarp themselves do not spawn often anymore. But much like the Youngster Medal, all you need to do is catch as many Magikarp as you possibly can. Just make sure you are always clicking and catching every Magikarp whenever you see them. You will eventually get Fisher to Platinum this way. Number 3, Pilot. Okay, so getting this medal to Platinum is going to be extremely difficult. Basically, you will be required to trade Pokemon until you reach 10 million kilometers of trade distance. Since every trade has distances of travel between the traded Pokemon, you will want to take note. Probably the easiest way to get this Platinum medal done is to collect as many Pokemon as you possibly can whenever you are on a long distance vacation or holiday. After you come back home, set up a day where you can trade all of those vacation Pokemon with the player who lives near you. Trade as many as you can and see those distances add up. More than likely, you will find a player who is looking to complete this medal, so they would be more than willing to trade dozens of Pokemon with you. Number 2, Best Buddy. This is, without a doubt, the most time consuming medal to get to Platinum. A typical time length for getting your buddy Pokemon to Best Buddies takes about 15 days to complete. Given that the Platinum Best Buddy Medal requires you to get 200, it means you will absolutely need to be active with the Buddy Adventure System. Unfortunately, most players flat out ignore it. I think this is a huge mistake, because there are so many benefits to using a Best Buddy Pokemon, especially this medal. Whether you are using Poffins or the No Poffin Excitement trick, you will need to get as many of your Pokemon in your collection to Best Buddy. I suggest starting on this right away. Alright, so now that we have reached the end of this video, and coming in at our number one spot, it is going to be unknown. Getting the Platinum of this medal is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is get at least one of every single unknown that currently exists in this game. 
The best way to collect these is to trade with someone who has them. Also, if you go to any of Pokemon Go's landmark events, you will probably find one or two unknowns. Make sure you are paying attention to your Pokedex so that you know which letters are missing. Once you get yourself this medal, it is definitely going to be satisfying. Okay, that will conclude this video. Leave your thoughts down below. What is one platinum medal that you are most proud of? Let me know below and let's have a great discussion. Now, if you end up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, then do consider checking out the links in the description below. And yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Kanjinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.